Hi, I'm Gami, and we're going to be reading chapter three of my very first encyclopedia. This chapter is going to be about reptiles and amphibians. Owl, what is a reptile? A reptile is an animal. Many reptiles have curly tails, long snouts, or hard shells. Some reptiles can even change color. Some reptiles have smooth skin, and some have bumpy skin. So what makes an animal a reptile? All reptiles are cold-blooded. That means that their bodies have the same temperature as their surroundings. All reptiles have dry skin. All reptiles are covered with scales, and scales are hard, dry pieces of skin that protect the reptile's body. A gecko is a reptile that hatches from an egg that's about the size of a peanut. An iguana is a reptile that likes to climb. A crocodile is a big reptile with a long snout. A turtle is a reptile with a hard shell. A snake is a long, skinny reptile with no legs. A chameleon is a reptile with horns on its nose. Hello, turtle. Just hatched. Look, this baby turtle has hatched from its egg. Before it hatched, its mommy dug a nest, a nest hole. She laid her eggs in the hole and covered them with dirt. The dirt keeps the eggs warm. Growing up. As soon as this turtle hatched, it headed straight to the water for its first swim. The turtle is growing up. Now it mo mostly eats bugs. When it gets bigger, it will eat plants too. Turtles at home. Many turtles live in the water. Different kinds of turtles can be found in streams, ponds, and even in the sea. Hello, crocodile. Just hatched. Here it comes. The little crocodile is poking its way out of the egg. Like all reptiles, it has a special tooth called an egg tooth. It uses an egg tooth to cut through the tough shell. Squeak, squeak. This baby crocodile makes that sound so its mommy can find them. Then it takes a ride in a very safe place. The very safe place is inside the mommy's mouth, you see? Crocodiles at home. Ah, that feels good. This crocodile is cooling off in the water. Crocodiles live in the rivers and lakes in very warm places. They like to bake on the, the sand or in the mud near the edges of the water. Hello, snake. Just hatched. These tiny garter snakes have just been born. Unlike most snakes, garter snakes do not hatch from eggs. Baby garter snakes can take care of themselves as soon as they are born. Growing up, this young garter snake is growing up very quickly. It will be fully grown one year after it was born. It may grow to be about four feet long. Snakes at home. Snakes can be found all over the world. They live in rainforests, woodlands, swamps, and deserts. Most snakes live in warm weather, warm weather places. Hello, iguana. Look at the eggs. Mommy iguanas can lay up to 70 eggs at a time. They lay their eggs in sandy areas. It is easy for the babies to dig out of the nest when they hatch. Growing up, a young iguana looks like its mommy. It could grow to be up to six feet long. Do you think you'll grow that tall? Iguanas at home. There are many different kinds of iguanas. They can be found in the desert, on rainforests, and on islands. Iguanas live in many places around the world. One kind of iguana even lives in the ocean. That's tigerific. Geckos can walk upside down. They have special bristles on their feet that help them hold on to things. That's why you can see them hanging down upside down without falling. Did you know that a crocodile has 60 to 80 teeth in its mouth? That's more than twice as many as you have. Whenever it loses a tooth, a crocodile grows a new one in the place of the old tooth. Some frogs sleep through long, cold winters. They snuggle down into muddy beds and fall fast asleep. Then they wake up and hop around again when it gets warm. What happens if a lizard is chased and grabbed by its tail? Not to worry, some lizards can break away from their own tails and after a while they will grow a new one. Sea snakes can swim without getting water up their nose. They close off their nostrils while they are underwater. When a turtle feels afraid, it hides in its shell. That's right, it just tucks its heads and legs and tail totally inside and it's like shutting the door of a house. Hello, gecko. 
Look at the eggs. Look at the tiny gecko eggs. Each one is about the size of a peanut. Mommy geckos usually lay two eggs at a time. The eggs have very hard shells to protect the babies inside until they are ready to hatch. Hatching and growing. This little gecko is hatching from its egg. It grows inside its egg for six months. Now, look, now it looks just like its mommy. Geckos at home. Geckos live in warm areas all over the world. Some geckos live in rainforests, others live in dry deserts, and some still live in the mountains. Hello, chameleon. Look at the eggs. Look who's on its way. Baby chameleons are soon going to hatch from their eggs. Their eggs are about a width of a dime. Growing up, baby chameleons head for the safety of trees as soon as they hatch. They already know how to find food and water. When a chameleon grows up, it will be able, it will be able to do this as long as, you, as your arms are now. Chameleons at home. Chameleons are happiest in very warm places. Many chameleons live in the forests of India and Africa. They are all great climbers. Their special claws help them to hold onto tree branches. Chameleons can also adapt to the different colors that are around them and they can blend into the nature behind them so that prey can't find them. Hello, Guana. Look at the eggs. Look what's here. It's a newborn guana. Baby guanas are called hatchlings. This guana is just a hatchling out of its shell. Its mommy laid 11 eggs in all. As a young guana grows, it learns many things. This one has learned how to look scary, standing up on its back legs in a way to protect itself. Some guanas are also called sand monitored lizards. That is because they live on dry, sandy soil. They need to sit in the sun and stay warm. And there's nothing like a nice warm rock to do that. Rue wants to know, do snakes have ears? No, they hear by feeling. How do they know, how do they do that? When something moves, snakes can feel the vibrations in the ground. Do turtles have teeth? No, a turtle cuts its food using its sharp beak. It is a lot like a bird's beak. Then the turtle mashes up the food with its strong jaws. Can snakes swim? Yes, many snakes can swim. The biggest snake in the world, the anaconda, spends most of its time in the water. Why does a frilled lizard have a collar? That is extra skin. The lizard puffs it up when it's afraid. This will make it look bigger, and it's in hopes it looks like it's scary to other enemies. Can you get warts from touching a toad? No, even though toads do have bumps on their skin, they are not warts. So toads do not have warts and they don't give warts. How can you tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? They are a lot alike, but look here. Crocodiles have a long, thin, pointy snout. Alligators have a wider snout. When a crocodile closes its mouth, you can see that its teeth from the lower jaw point upward. When an alligator closes its mouth, you can see that the top teeth point downwards. Owl, what is an amphibian? An amphibian is an animal too. Many amphibians have long tails. Some amphibians can, can leap high into the air. Other amphibians even have webbed feet. Baby amphibians usually latch in, hatch in the water. A baby amphibian is called a larva. Baby frogs and toads are called tadpoles. Both larvae and tadpoles look very different from their parents. So what makes an animal an amphibian? Most amphibians live in or around water. All amphibians keep their skin a little wet. All amphibians are cold-blooded just like reptiles, and amphibian eggs look like beads of jelly and don't have hard shells. A toad is an amphibian with bumpy skin. A trident is also an amphibian too. A salamander is an amphibian that has different colors. A salamander is an amphibian that hides under the leaves. A frog is an amphibian with webbed feet, and the frog is an amphibian that lives in, the, in flowers. Hello frog, ribbit ribbit, just hatched. It's time for newborn frogs. A baby frog is called a tadpole. A tadpole has a large head and a round body and a long tail. It uses long tail to help it swim as soon as it's born. Look, this tadpole is growing up. First, its body gets fatter. It starts to grow legs and will lose its tail. Then it will appear to be a froglet. 
Frogs can be found all over the world. They usually live in wet areas near ponds, lakes, and rivers. Some frogs even live in trees. Hello, toad. Look at the eggs. This mother toad is laying her eggs in the water. The eggs look a lot like strings of bead. Some mommy toads can lay up to 12,000 eggs at a time. Growing up, a toad starts out as a tadpole just like a frog does, and once it's grown its legs and lost its tail, the tadpole will become a toadlet. Toads at home. Toads can be found in leafy forest floors, in wet swamps, and even in deserts. One place you will not find toads is in water. They cannot live in the salty water. Hello, salamander. Just hatched. Here come the baby salamander. Before they're hatched, the babies grew inside their eggs for two or three weeks. Most salamanders grow up in the water. Their legs grow longer so that they'll be ready to crawl on land. Some salamanders grow up in five or six weeks. Others can take up to five years. Salamanders at home. Most salamanders live in cold, dark places. You might find a salamander hiding under a log or a rock. Salamanders usually live close to water because that's where a mommy sal salamander lays her eggs. That's tigerific. The Japanese giant salamander can grow to be five feet long. It would take a whole, it would take up a whole backseat of a car. This mommy crocodile is not eating her babies. She is being very protective parent. This is how mommy crocodiles carry their new, newly hatched babies to safe place. As snakes grow, their skin gets too small for their bodies. They wiggle around until the old skin comes off and underneath they have fresh new skin that fits just right. They're just removing their old skin. When a iguana is in danger, it stands up on its hind legs, and when it runs away, just using its back legs. Chameleons use their tails like extra hands. They wrap their curly tails around tree benches and hang on. Look and find with Piglet. Now that you've learned about reptiles and amphibians, look at the picture and answer the questions below. How many reptiles can you find? There are four reptiles. What is Tiger playing with? What is Tigger playing with? It looks like Tigger is playing with a lizard. How many amphibians are there? There are four amphibians here. How many turtles can you find? I think there are two turtles, yeah. One, two. How many frogs are jumping? Let's count them. There's one, there's one frog jumping right here. Can you find the salamander? Let's go ahead and find the salamander. Here's the salamander. You see? It's on the edge of the pond. What is the frog sitting on? The frog is sitting on a lily pad. Remember that this is a frog and this is a toad. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. And then what has its house on its back? A turtle has its house on its back. The shell is what they consider their house. And with that, we're done with chapter three.